Republicans today bask in the glow of victory for their candidate in a hotly contested Florida special election, a result that could forecast trouble for Democrats ahead. Voters in Florida's 13th Congressional District delivered their verdict in a special election that gained the national spotlight. Only 40% of those registered turned out, and they narrowly favored Republican David Jolly. I am honored and I am humbled to have received the support of my community and to have the opportunity to serve as your next representative from Florida's 13th Congressional District. Thank you. Jolly took 48% of the vote Where are we going, to 46% for Democrat Alex Sink. They battled in a Tampa area district that has leaned Republican. He has held the congressional seat for some 60 years. But Democrats hoped votes would swing in their favor after President Obama carried the district in the last two presidential elections. National parties and outside groups look to Tuesday's contest for early clues to next November's midterm elections, especially how the president's health care law will play. 300,000 Floridians will lose their current health coverage because of Obamacare. Alex Sink supported it, and she still does. Who's behind these ads smearing Alex Sink? Insurance companies and special interests. They spent millions on David Jolly. The nonprofit Sunlight Foundation reports overall spending on the race topped $11 million. Sink outspent Jolly by more than three to one on television ads, but outside groups helped make up the difference for the Republican. We well, had a big win last night uh, in Florida. And, Today, uh, House Speaker John Boehner and the White House had decidedly different takes. It's about the economy. Uh, it's about Obamacare. Listen, I've stood here after, uh, after losing some special elections. I tried to put lipstick on a pig, but it was still a pig. So you can bet they'll try to put lipstick on it today, but you all know what the facts are. It's a race where, again, uh, Republicans held the seat for 58 years, where they routinely won that seat by 30 or more points, and last night they won by less than two points. Uh, so it is what it is. Jolly will fill the seat of the late Congressman Bill Young, who died last October in his 21st term.